exporting COBE submittal data. This advanced topic lesson is applicable to Autodesk Fabrication CAD MEP. Providing BIM data in the COBE or Construction Operations Building Information Exchange format is an increasingly common job requirement. The National Institute of Building Sciences, a nonprofit, non governmental organization, publishes spreadsheet templates which may be used to organize the information exported from the Autodesk Fabrication products. A link to the COBE templates on the NIBS website is provided in the Exercise Files folder. One of the templates, Installed Equipment Valves Strainers.xls, is also included in the Exercise Files folder. It is used in this exercise to demonstrate how Fabrication CAD MEP can export data to a COBE template. Detailed information about COBE and the templates can be found on the NIBS website. This lesson does not attempt to explain COBE or the COBE templates. Start Fabrication CAD MEP and select the Imperial Content configuration. Open Exporting Kobe Submittals.dwg from the Exercise folder. Using a spreadsheet application, open Installed Equipment Valves Strainers.xls from the Exercise folder. This is one of several templates published by NIBS for Kobe data submittals. The templates cover many different types of building components such as elevators, handrails, and steel. There are a number of templates which are directly applicable to MEP contractors. This exercise uses the template for submitting data about valves and strainers. Most of the data required for the COBE template is contained in the items. This exercise explains how to export those item properties for use in the COBE template. Arrange the application windows so that both are visible. Let's take a look at an item. We're going to double click on this gate valve. Go to our item tab. One thing that's missing on here is room number. So let's go ahead and add room number and put a room number on this so that we can pull it into our Kobe submittal. I'm going to click on cancel and select edit main database. Under takeoff and custom data, we're going to add a new entry. Call it room number and click on OK. Now to update the items in here, because if I double click on this right now and go, my room number is not showing up. I'm going to hit cancel and run the command update from source. Now when I click on the valve, we can see that I now have a spot for my room number. So I'm going to put RM-108. Alright, now let's build our data export. I'm going to hold down Shift, right click, go up to CAD MEP, Export, and then Item Data. Select all my items. Click Create a New Export Format. Hit Next. First thing I'm going to need to do in here is filter out everything that's not a valve. To do that, we're going to type service type and add that to our list. Now we can start adding the columns from our spreadsheet. First is product. And for that, I'm going to add the product description. Next is product type. I'm going to use product name. And then comes the room number that we just put in, which was custom data. So I'll add a custom data field. Next is the manufacturer. And we'll put in the manufacturer. Now supplier and critical I don't have anything on my items for that, but I want a column for it so that this imports cleanly. So we're just going to put in some blank columns for that.
And then last is my tag number. So now we have one print object for each column plus our service type for our filter. Click Next. Since we've added service type just for our filter, we're going to select our column and uncheck the output file. Next we'll click on Filter and build our filter. Item service type equals valve. Next we'll go through each of our print objects and set what the column header will be. So for our product description, we're going to change its description to product. Next, our product name, we're going to rename this product type. For our custom data, we already input our room number. So I'm going to select display for index. And you can see that for index 1 is room number. Next is manufacturer. And then for our blank objects, we'll put in the column headers for those. Last, we'll come out and from our options, I'm going to switch mine to always expanding subassemblies. Just in case I have a subassembly with a valve in it, that way it will pull that valve from that subassembly. Click OK. And we can click on Next and give our data export a name. Click Next. Specify the name, and we'll just copy that. Click on Next. We're going to leave this exported as a text file, and just change the name that it exports as. Click on Browse, and choose a folder for it to export to. I'm also going to uncheck the header row. Since our template already has headers in it, we won't need to export those. Click on Finish. Now in the background, our data has been exported. Now we can do some work inside of Excel. So in Excel, I'm going to select my Data tab and get external data from text. Select the text file we exported and click on Import. We have delimited selected on our import wizard. And ours is separated by commas. So we can see here on the one valve that we put the room number on, it shows up in here. There's still some edits that we're going to have to make. There may be some columns that we have to fill in or change. For instance, I may want this to say butterfly valve here. So a portion of this is going to be manual, but we can see that we got a lot of the information in automatically using a data extraction. This should make building these Colby submittals much easier.